little scholar to thy book be fine. Come near and print my sayings in thy mind. Yet first thy hands and visage wash thou fair. Let all thy clothes be neat and comb thy hair. And for thy studies have thou ready still books with a pencil, paper, ink, and quill. Learn, child. Nor let forgetfulness abuse thee, lest that a guilty mind of sloth accuse thee. And mark me well, for what avail my pains, unless thou fix my sayings in thy brain. The hardest things through diligence are known. Strive ever, and the glory is thine own. For as the earth yields neither seeds nor flowers, unless manured in seasonable hours. Mm, manure! <laughs> They never taught us anything like that. College? Golly, you're not in college now. You're not... If I see you do that again, you wish you'd never been born. No, no. This is real. You boy. Master, has anyone got a bra? Leave that look. Leave it alone. Look. I know there's a cat on it somewhere. Down. I know you haven't got one, idiot. Why haven't you got one? Elisha. Denise. Denise. You smell. Mm -hmm. What did you say? I think he said you smell too. Well, well, that's what it sounded like to me. Didn't anyone else hear him say? What's that then, sir? That Mr. Fowl smells. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? I was having a uniform check. Oh, you had any trouble, Flashy Babe? I was checking, and you ain't got no uniform. Oh, yeah. Go on, bet. Oh, still? Oh, wait, what are you doing? Oh, I was doing a uniform check. Oh, really? We'd better go and check it then, innit? Ew! What colour are knickers supposed to be? Stop interfering, you half mate! As for you. I'll punish you later. What have you got in your pocket? What, sir? Come on, come on. I'll do. I have to get a pair of tongues and such myself. Hey, keep Oh, you disgust! You disgust! Take it away! You made a complete ass of yourself, and I'm glad. Listen, you wisdom hag. The only time you're glad is when you're holding your absurd union meetings with your nice working comrades. So, in the words of the current vernacular, on your bike. I know you'll enjoy that. I'm not going to be drawn, Pow. You're just pathetic. <laughs> you drawn? My God, Rembrandt would have trouble drawing you. Don't, don't. It's not. It's not. I'm destroyed. How can I compete with such elephants? <laughs> certainly won't listen to you. This discussion. Indeed, I pledge it to call it such as it's men. Oh, God, you. You'll pay for this. 
<laughs> Tampons on the National Health. Stupid <laughs> bitch. Mr. Fowl, here's another one. Another one? Another one who says you smell. Mr. McIntosh. Oh, yes, of course, Ed Martha. Good morning, children. Now, there are medical inspections today for first and second year. So, this morning, I'm going to talk about Florence Nightingale. Now, why I can see Brian Hawkes on the fifth year thinking? Well, the answer is simple. Without the women who follow in her footsteps, our medical services would simply fall apart. <laughs> You! Yes, you, boy. What was I talking about? Uh, something Quickly, about, boy. Something about... What? Speak up. Something about farts, sir. <laughs> I think we must be close. Oh, God, do we have to go through this? Can't we go back? Oh, come on, man. I've told you time and time again, South Africa needs to show the world it's changed. And what better way than for the ambassador to send his son to a multiracial school? Couldn't we just flee the gardener or something? No, I think they want more. That is fine. I mean, how many curses does it Yer, have? Don't use that word. We're in England now. From now on, it's darkies. Come to that, has it? Darkies. If Uncle Kurt could hear you Oh, God, strike me, Jewish. I've told you time and time again, Kurt is of the old God. The future lies with us of the hard left. We call them darkies. Yes, so just shut up. Phew. What a scorcher. Moose. Moose. Yes, my friend? Look, I, I don't want to be a killjoy. I, I don't want to upset you, but... Fish? What? Fish? Yeah. Uh, no, thanks. In Iceland, we eat these all the time. Like packets of chips over here. Crisps. Pardon? You mean packets of crisps? Yes, they do. Look, this is ridiculous, Moose. No one's going to be late. <laughs> no one dare be late when Moose Magnuson is on duty. Spilling your sardines. Uh, the herder. You heard yeah. any more about your case? Which one? The blue one? Your repatriation case. You're going back to Iceland. I am? You mean Iceland has given in? Look, listen, Moose. You came here to visit us on exchange, OK? You did, you did. But your old school won't have you back. They still won't answer our letters, OK? Mm. Good. Why don't you uh, toddle off into assembly, have a good sing-song? <laughs> That's it. Go on. Oh, thank God for that. Donna, why are you dressed like that? I'm my girl, aren't I? Yes, but I'm here. It's my uniform. Mr. McIntosh said so. Look, he gave me the gift. Donna, some of these Swedish things, they're uh, mail order, aren't they? Anyway, I uh, don't think it's official yet, so you'd better go home at break and change. Oh, sir. Another thing, you've got 100 lines for being late. Oh, you're really mean. When do you want them by? 
Well, if punishment is to have any effect, Donna, it has got to be immediate, so uh, drop them in the dog and duck tonight about eight, all right? Oh, sir, I'll never get them done in time. Oh. Well, I'll do two or three and we'll talk about the rest. OK, sir. And, uh, Donna, wear the uniform. He's all your spider man and him on the roof hanging from a clothesline. All right. Come out of there this second, or I'll... That happened to me, too. I see. Right. So, you think you're a werewolf, eh? Well, if you're a werewolf, then I'm mine. A witch? Rampers, sir. No, super <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> right, sit there. Come on! Oh, no! Come sit there! Come on! Oh! <laughs> She'll be all right now, sir. Good lad. I can see why they chose you for Ed Foy. Thanks, sir. Yep, no flies on you. Spots, maybe, but no flies. <laughs> Sir? Yes, buddy? Would you mind not calling me that? What? Buddy? Yes, sir. I prefer Kevin. Oh, sorry. Say more, Kevin. Thanks, sir. Must say, though, that's a beauty on your nose. <laughs> so, here's a quid, and thanks again, mate. Cool. Thanks, sir. Now I can buy Donna a birthday present. Great, great. Get her something nice. I, I was thinking of a mouse. A mouse? Nah, everyone will get her that. What then, sir? Look, Spotty. There must be something you'd really like to give her. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Why didn't I think of that? A ring. Look, Spotty, get out of the mouse, OK? Right, you lot, shut up or you won't see the film. <laughs> I said shut up! That's fine, Spotty. Uh, off your trot and thanks again. <laughs> Look, shut up or I'll call him back and you'll all get boils. <laughs> Now, we can watch the film, but we must do some writing, too, OK? Is it all guilt? Yeah, loads of people. Yeah. Sir, are they really killed, sir? Don't be stupid. They're actors, are they, sir? Well, no, not necessarily. Told you. Besides, they didn't have so much from them days, did they, sir? No, that's quite right, Beverly. Sir, I've killed a cat, sir. Good. Well done, Angela. Now, get inside, or you won't have time to see it all. Sir. Yeah, what now, Leroy? Uh, are there any... Car crashes, sir. Maybe, maybe. Yeah! 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 Sir, can we see a film about monsters? Hey, sir, can't watch Alien again, sir. Look, I am not promising car crashes or anything, but if there is anything good, you're going to miss it unless you shut up and get inside. Aww. Yeah, well, there better be lots of killings, too. Yeah! yeah! Now, as our new first years, you will, of course, find this a uh, strange place. <laughs> you may even find it frightening. You will soon get used to us, though, and if you do have any problems, remember, my door is always open. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, of course. You see, you are at a difficult stage. Some of you, I've no doubt, already have hair sprouting on your bodies. <laughs> By now, you will all be getting urges. Urges which you cannot always <laughs> history, maths, English, French, and geography control. 
And the moment you get one of these urges, I want you to come and see me right away. There's nothing to be ashamed of. I get them all the time, always have done. Now, are there any questions? Hmm? Anything you'd like to tell me about thoughts you've been having or, or um, an urge, perhaps? <laughs> Here it is. Hey, we're in luck, darling. The Ed Moss is South African. Da da da. Frick might be coming down here, too. Uh, you name me one English one. Oh, oh, good grief. Did you have to break like that? It's okay, man. Everything is gravy. What do you expect me to do? Hit him and lose my no claims bonus? Anyway, we're late enough as it is. I'm still not sure we're doing the right thing. Just trust me, darling. That's what you said the very first time we met, and look what happened. Not in front of the coin. Hello, for your sake, you're right this time. Come on, hurry up. Come along, darling. Well, what do you think, Snaps? He's so happy, Mama. I know, darling, I know. But you can't always judge by appearances. Oi, you! Get out of it! What did you say? Not you, doll. That goofy little beggar behind you. Get out and wait till I tell you. Do you realise that this boy is the son of the South African ambassador and I'm his mother? Well, fancy that. Where's the master? Cool it, doll. You've got to talk to the organ grinder before you talk to the monkey. Now that I've talked to the monkey, I'd like to talk to the headmaster. What do you want to do? You want to change your tune. I'm the head schoolkeeper, you dig? Everything goes through me. Now, you behave yourself. <laughs> right, you guys, I've got a job. Hey, I could have killed you there. Why didn't you? We'd all have gone up a grave. Hey, I think so. Over my dead body. If, if you like. like. Now, which of you guys is going to do this job? No. no. You don't even know what it's a... What up to your eyeballs? Well, I'm not doing it. Michael Tosh can come and fetch her. Excuse me, Elvis. What's the tea? What do you think of them, Stan? Oh. Give her one, eh? Yeah. Give her a bird one. Hey, wait a minute. That was Crocodile Rock Byward. Hey, 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 what's the China? Give us that phone, you. Look, you brutes. How long is this going to take? I'm worried, Ernie. If somebody beats me to it, I'm going to ram that phone right up your butt. Yeah? Well, you'll have to get it out of your own butt first. No, no, not you, Mr. McIntosh. Now, listen, I've got this ambassador here to see the head. Oh, yeah, South African. And she's right stuck up. What? Oh, let's get this straight. Are you asking me or telling me? Well, that's better. I mean it, Ernie. They're going to be taking internal calls. <laughs> that was the deputy head. He's requested that I keep you here. He forgot you were coming, you see. And he hasn't told the head. Typical. Engaged. You'd like a sausage? Leave it out, Ern. There ain't enough as it is. Just tell me where the headmaster is, damn you. First floor, darling. And don't swear, or I'll smack your bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine knocking off that. Well, you can talk with your missus. <laughs> <laughs> my God, quickly, quickly! Oh, my God, I forgot, I forgot! The head will go mad when he finds out! Oh, quickly, Spotty, I think they're coming. Get the head still on the phone! Mr. McIntosh, Mr. McIntosh, guess what? Look, I found the boy who's stealing the toilet paper. Yes, yes, well, well done, Peter. In my office, please. But, but look, Mr. McIntosh, look! Quickly, they're coming! Oh, my God! And this must be your son, my, what a handsome lad. <laughs> what was that screaming I asked her? So, screaming? I didn't hear any screaming. Oh, Peter, did you hear any screaming? Um, uh, no, no, I haven't heard any screaming. It, it, was, it was probably the mice. Yes, yes, that's it. It was probably the mice. The mice? Yes, yes, the mice in the lift. Jump. Oh, blasted thing. 
What do you think of this one, sir? Oh, my God. What's the matter, sir? Don't you like it? I... <laughs> um, thank you, nurse. I'll uh, call the first years down now, shall I? <laughs> it's medical inspection. Um, you come and meet Mr. Wickham. Uh, um, he's just down the end of the corridor. Um, I think you'll uh, find him here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. I'll um, handle this. <laughs>